Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator, and in particular the Glyphs panel, which you can use with type. It's a great source of whole thousands of different designs that you probably can't access very easily from your keyboard. Obviously you've got the standard letters, A, B, C, D, etc. This sort of design, obviously not easily accessible. So I think it's just great that you can access it this way. And this one is from the Apple Color Emoji. Now let's go right to the start. So type glyphs so that's the thing or window and go down here to type and it's in the thing glyphs there so i'm going to remove that now and i'm going to go to the type tool use type you can use the other ones of course as well and i'm just going to add a character so just go down here and well double click so you've got that double click straight away another character what you can also do of course is you can add more than one and so on and so on. So you can add very quickly characters, or you can just delete them, of course. And you can run through these flags and other things, thousands of different things. mountain bikes, people walking, different foods. There's just a whole range of different designs that all can be used very quickly and easy via this. Now, this is not the only one, so I'm just going to remove all that. You can go to this one as well, a mode one. There's probably some others, but I don't know of any others. There's a mode one. And you've got a whole range of different like, nice coffee there. And now some forks, pan, some great little vector designs that you can just use, just drag, expand out. I think that's pretty nice. So what you can else can you do? Well, just gonna go over here to the type tool. And of course there are other fonts as well, not just color ones. These ones are obviously the more interesting ones, but, but you've got loads and loads. You've got standard ones like Arial, so you can just go through A, B, C, you can see there. But of course, if you want, there's loads and loads of other characters that are available in Arial, which of course you can't really access easily from your type, you know, keyboard. So I'm just gonna select that and I'm just gonna Bring that up. Now I'm certain you can access it if you remember the codes for this, or this one, or this one, and so on and so on. So even in Arial, there's a lot of great characters all tucked away, and probably further down, there's even more characters. Yeah, whole load of tilde character, and so on and so on. But there's even more because you've got vast amounts of different fonts on your. Well, obviously your set will be different from mine, but I'm just going to run down here. And I'm just going to show you my graphic extras one. So graphic extras design, you've got loads of diamond designs. But now again, with the keyboard, I mean, you of course can just type A or whatever. You can see here, I can just go over here and just type letter A. But you might not remember that that's the letter A or B or C. But this glyph panel means you've got an access to all of them. And you can expand that out, you can drag that out a bit, make it a bit bigger. And also you can, of course, see the whole lot or just see just part of it and you can then run down it and say you think oh that character is really nice double click and you can bring that in very quick and easy also if you change your mind you can always select it double click now of course what you can do you think oh you know what i don't want the diamond design i've got some other designs so maybe like uh, crosses so you can design there and select go down there maybe select that one or that design and of course once you've got the design you can then expand it but again if you wanted a more conventional one you can simply go down to this and I'm just going to go for one of these and again one of the things that's slightly annoying is very very faint to see the ash there just so I can slide it down so you, yeah go for that yep and then oh it's going to do something here what's it doing whirring around decided to whir around a bit oh finally finished now I don't know why it does that sometimes you've got ornaments so like ornaments and you can see a whole range of different designs there which again you can simply bring in by that double click there and you've got that design but if you want to you can always simply just go back to the standard there oh, you have to remove it if it can't access it you will just have to remove it and then you can then go down here so to regular that's a slightly annoying feature, but it just won't it just won't let you uh, do that. And again, you can go there or the Apple 
and so on and so on. So I think it's a really amazing, useful tool, this glyph span. It's one of the ones I quite often turn to and explore because I'm thinking, well, what is that design that I really want? And I can just run through all these different designs. You've got all these regular ones, you've got ornaments, you've got black, black italics, and so on and so on. Just great access to designs, which you may not know you've got. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, Affinity Design, Affinity Photo, and many others. Also, if you've got some comments, what things do I do wrong? What things do I do right? And also, how do you use the GIF panel yourself? I mean, you might, obviously, I'm quite certain that professionals will be using it in a completely different way from this approach. I'm quite certain that is the case. But if you're just using it, like I do, for different designs, great inspirations for ideas, you can run through things and you can also access my own characters, which is really quite good. Obviously, all those graphic extra designs, it's really super useful. And also, you know, just general comments, always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.